Please join me as we welcome Pastor Paul Enenche from Dunamis International. Hallelujah. Can we give the Lord a big clap as we take our seats? I want to, first of all, appreciate God's servant, my father in the Lord, Bishop David Oyedepo, for the platform given to every one of us, including the celebrant of today, for the fulfillment of ministry and life's assignment. We thank you, sir, for being so selfless in releasing the deposit of God in your life upon the children coming up, and we are eternally grateful. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise for our Father and the Lord. Tonight we are here to celebrate the life of a man. And all I will say is just a few things that we can pick from the stewardship of God's servant, Bishop David Abioye. I think the first thing that I saw is that making a difference is superior to making a living. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10 said, what things soever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. That is the summary of God's servant, Bishop David O. Abioye. Making a difference wherever you are found, place ahead of just making a living. Making meaning, not just making money. Making impact, not just making income. The struggle to make a mark not the struggle to make a name. The struggle to know, not just the struggle to be known. The struggle to point you to the person up. I remember at the beginning of our ministry, we had met with our Father in the Lord and started relationship before the ministry started. But at the beginning of the ministry, he was in Lagos and we are here. And Bishop Abiyo was in Kaduna. So we decided, let's get close to him. And whatever will connect from our father, we can, it can flow through him as well. And I got close to him. And he said, no. Our father is in Lagos. We can reach him. And he put a call through. He pointed me from himself to our father in the Lord. And I will never forget that for life. Finally, it's a man who has done very, very tireless, brutal labor. And like Mama has just said, I want to say to you, sir, the best days are ahead. There is never a wasted labor in the kingdom. God reward you, sir, in Jesus' name. During Bishop David Abioy's valedictory service, Pastor Paul Enenche gave a heartfelt speech reflecting on his long-standing friendship with Bishop Abioy, which spans 27 years. He spoke about their journey together, highlighting their shared values and the impact Bishop Abioy has had on the church and its members. The event celebrated Bishop Abioy's dedication and commitment to the Living Faith Church Winner's Chapel, where he has served with passion and integrity. Bishop Abioy's retirement follows the church's guidelines, as he has reached the mandatory retirement age of 60 for pastors. While retiring from his official position, Bishop Abioy has several options available to him within the church's structure, including the possibility of taking on a supervisory or revivalist role in the ministry. The church's founder, Bishop David Oyedepo, emphasized the significance of Bishop Abioy's contributions and expressed hope that he would continue to serve in some capacity within the ministry. Thank you for watching. What are your thoughts on this video?